Hello everyone. Welcome to the Highland Avenue virtual channels. Whether you're watching this on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, welcome. We're glad to have you and excited that you're here. Don't be a stranger, but subscribe, like, follow, and even share this video if the Lord impresses you to do so. We're excited to have you and we hope that you stick around as we continue to journey with Jesus down the avenue. For all of you who are tuning in, I have some announcements that I want to give you today that are important to how we are going to move forward. So bear with me. This is just going to take a couple of minutes and then I'll be out your hair. Here we go. This Sabbath, June 26, we were originally scheduled to come to this wonderful sanctuary where I'm seated and sit here and watch on the screen with our fellow brothers and sisters from around the conference, our virtual camp meeting that's taking place this year. Unfortunately, we will not be able to make that happen. Our volunteers need a break. They're burned out, they're tired, they need rest. And the few of them who have been volunteering have put in so much effort and so much work and they deserve to not only be appreciated but applauded for all the sacrifice and risk taking that they've done to make sure that every single one of us can come in here on a week to week basis and worship our loving creator. If you don't mind, just put a great thank you in the chat wherever you find this video today and just let a volunteer know, hey, thank you so much for the sacrifices that you've made since the beginning of the year and even since the beginning of the pandemic to make sure that each week a worship experience is available to you from your own church where you can sit with other believers be listening to the music that comes from heaven's gates and be instructed by the word of God and even participate in different portions that would bring you closer to Jesus Christ and one another. If that's been your blessing and your experience, let them know in the chat below. We genuinely appreciate it. On behalf of this church as the pastor, I want to say thank you to every single volunteer and supporter who has made this possible couldn't be here without you. Thank you. In addition to that, we want to let you know that coming in July, uh, many restrictions have been lifted here in the state of Michigan. And they just came this past Monday lifting all the restrictions here. And so social distancing is optional for those who are vaccinated. Masks are optional for those who are vaccinated. And even though here at Highland Avenue, we've been slowly progressing, we want to let you know that we're going to continue to make progress in these areas. And one of the ways that we're doing that is by lifting pre-registration here at Highland Avenue. No longer beginning July 3, that Sabbath, will you have to pre-register for worship. You won't have to have assigned seats. You can sit where you want. Um, you won't have to worry about letting us know that you're coming. Just come to the avenue and worship with us how you feel. And we'd be excited to have all of you here in the comfort of this sanctuary, worshiping our wonderful God. And we look forward to seeing you guys, not just July 3, but every single week afterward. We're not doing every other week or every second and fourth Sabbath as it was, but we're going to have worship every single week here in the house of God, available to you every single week without free registration. So come through to the avenue. You still need a mask. We're going to ask that you continue to wear a mask, but we anticipate as we continue to meet with the different leadership of the church that come fall, um, later in fall, we'll be able to make masks more optional. We'll let you know what specific date that is and more information as we continue to hash out some things. But coming soon, we anticipate that masks for those who are vaccinated will soon be optional. You'll be able to come in here and smile at one another and see those smiles and all those wonderful pearly teeth that God has blessed you with without a mask soon. But for the meanwhile, continue to walk with your mask as we continue to progress slowly in the direction that God is calling us to move. We need your help. We have a community garden. We have community project ideas. We've got church renovation ideas. We've got so many different things that we want to see happen here on the avenue, but it can't be the same people doing the same thing. We need more than the same five and 10 people volunteering. We need you. And as these commercials are coming out on television, many of us are laughing as we see people beginning to put on real pants 
as they would say again, and going out again and learning how to dress up and be presentable in public. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it takes practice to get on out. And why not start practicing now for what will be the reality? in the future. We want you to be a part. We want you to dress up. We want you to come out. We want you to get your hands dirty with us as we labor in the garden and toil the field. As we contribute to our community through the loving actions that we have planned coming up that will let you know so much more about as you participate in making the house of God look representative of the God that we serve. We want the house to look as good or if not better than we could ever imagine in representation for the wonderful, amazing, beautiful God that we serve. We are the avenue. And people are coming here not to find out who we are, but they're journeying to the avenue to discover Jesus. And we want to give them the best experience possible. We can only do that with your help. And I'm going to say something controversial, but I'm going to say it in the best way that I can. We don't necessarily need your money. We need your handiwork. I'm not saying don't return your tithe. I'm not saying don't give a faithful offering. What I am saying is lend a hand where you can. Join us in the field. Be a part of this ministry as we see God change lives and work wonders here in Southwest Michigan and specifically Benton Harbor. If that's your goal, if that's your dream, if that's your aspiration, then the avenue is the perfect place for you. And for all of my members who have been here for so long, journeying with me, let's continue marching forward up Zion's Hill. We are journeying to the kingdom through the avenue, and we praise that God would use this avenue to bless your life and the lives of others around us. Join us in that venture. We'll be excited to have you. Because as we've always said, and we'll always continue to say, there's always room for you on the avenue. So come on.